Hello friends, today we are going to solve CBSE class 10th exercise 13.2 question number 7. A solid consisting of a right circular cone of height 120 cm and radius 60 cm standing on a hemisphere of radius 60 cm is placed upright in a right circular cylinder full of water such that it touches the bottom find the volume of the water left in the cylinder if the radius of the cylinder is 60 cm and its height is 180 cm so we are having a cylinder like this then we are having a hemisphere surmounted by a cone They are telling we are taking this and keeping this whole um, you can say three dimensional figure in this so that it will give us a shape like this look. And we have to find out the volume of the remaining water inside the cylinder. You can see. So they had given us some height and radius that we have to see cone of height 120 centimeters. So this height will be 120 radius 60. So this will be also 60. So the height of this total cylinder will be automatically 180 centimeter. This is 180 and radius this radius is 60 and here also it is 60 now what we have to do we have to find the volume of the cylinder then we have to subtract this cone volume of this cone and volume of this hemisphere then we will get the volume of the water left in the cylinder so volume of water left in the cylinder is equal to volume of cylinder minus volume of cone you can first find out these two and then add then also you can subtract but I am going to do it directly and I am going to take out common from all the three that's why I am writing all the three things together first volume of cylinder then minus volume of cone and then minus volume of hemisphere because I am going to take out pi common that's why now we know what is the volume of cylinder pi r square sorry r square h this will be h1 because this height is bigger h1 and this height is h2 okay. then volume of cone 1 by 3 pi r will be same in both the cases in all the cases so I am not going to write anything with that this will be h2 minus sorry volume of hemisphere that is 2 by 3 pi r cube now what we can take out common from all this I can say pi in all this and r square r square and r cube means 2r also I can take out common so pi and r square common h1 minus 1 by 3 h2 minus 2 by 3 r now we are going to put up the value they had not given us any value for pi so we are going to take 22 by 7 radius it's 60 into 60 and then h1 180 minus you can say 1 by 3 into h2 what is i2 that is 120 minus 2 by 3 into r that is 60 now I'm not going to multiply this right now I'm going to write this only 22 by 7 into 60 into 60 now 180 minus 1 and this will be 40 minus 40 this one this 20 20 into 2 this will be also 40 so 22 by 7 into 60 into 60 180 minus 40 minus 40 so directly we will get 100 now we have to multiply this and then divide it by 7 
so i think i will get answer like this one one three one four two eight point fifty seven so this will be your volume in centimeter cube because everything is given in centimeter if we want to convert it into meter cube we know we have to divide it with one zero 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 six zeros are there so we can put it in decimal and i can directly write down one point one three one meter cube so this way we can find out the volume of this water left inside the cylinder thank you so much for watching my video if you like it please subscribe to my channel so that i can bring more such videos for you Thank you so much.